If you've been a ServiceNow developer for a while, then you are certain to know about the system log. It's an invaluable tool for troubleshooting your instance and your solutions. But there's two common problems that come along with the system log. The first problem is volume. You get enough people who are careless with how they use GS info, GS warn, GS error, and all of a sudden your system log is an absolute dumpster fire. Check out this screenshot, which was taken from a ServiceNow instance before noon. The second problem is sourcing. It's one thing to put information into your system log, but it's quite another to take a random entry from your system log and figure out what actually produced that log record. That's why you'll frequently see people embed information about the triggering mechanism into their log statements so that when they're in their system logs, they can easily see the source of what triggered. Now recently, ServiceNow has created a new property on the syslog table called context map. You can go to the syslog table and add it to the form. I've tested the context map against many of the objects ServiceNow runs script from, and I'm convinced that context map does a great job of eliminating the two traditional problems of the system log. By giving you exquisite information about how an entry got into the system log, it will enable you to deconstruct the red hot dumpster fires that your system logs have become over time. So check out this entry to the system log. The first thing I noticed about this is that it shows me who's logged in and if they're impersonating and what's the net result for the user. In this case, I wasn't impersonating anybody, but I did trigger the business rule. How do I know that I triggered the business rule? The script table parameter tells me what table triggered the script. The script record parameter tells me the sys ID of the script that was fired. And here's the business rule, and we can see the GS info message that made it into the system log. Back to the system log entry, we can see that there is this page name parameter, and that tells me that I was on the incident form when this happened. Contrast that with this system log entry. This is where I went to the service catalog and created an incident from a record producer. So it's telling me that the page name is service catalog.do. Going even further, it tells me that I was impersonating Able Tutor when I did it. Now the session ID parameter here can tell you the sys ID of any logged in user records you have here. And the TX ID property is really handy if you want to go deeper into the logs. That's what happens when we see this show log entries and you come to this form to search through the node logs. You would search with the TXID parameter in the message field. So now for every system log entry, you can find not only who the user was and whether they were impersonating somebody and who that somebody might be, you can also access their session and you can find out what page they were on when they triggered the script. You'll also be told what table triggered the script and what record in that table did the execution. This is invaluable for taking back control of your system logs, because now you can track down all of the objects that are pumping information you don't want into your system log. Another great advantage is because you have all this great sourcing data, you no longer have to embed all that source information into the statements you actually want to log. I really love this feature, but if I could ask for anything else, it would be more searchability. As it stands, I can't really use the condition builder to search within that context map for specific things. It's a fantastic feature, one of my favorite new things for raw developers. Can't thank you enough, ServiceNow. Whoever came up with this, please give that person a cookie. My name is Robert Fedoric. I am your ServiceNow consigliere, coach, and recruiter. If you need help finding ServiceNow talent, if you need help getting into the ServiceNow game, or if you need a freelance consigliere, to make sure you're getting the most out of your ServiceNow investment, contact me in the email pictured right here.